On September 23rd, the High Plains Minicon was held at Uptown Scotts Bluff. There were many different types of artists taking part in this event. Well, we have the Minicon going on today, so when everyone's posting a bunch of stuff for sale, uh, we have resin sets, art prints, pens, jewelry, stickers, paintings. She kind of loved the name of this, her wheat quilt bakery right there. We also have the comics over there. I came here because I finally got the courage to start selling my art. I just was like, this is something that I enjoy doing and kind of finally got the courage to make it my end goal. So I love playing with colors and other people like it. The event ended with the cosplay contest. There were four divisions for the cosplayers to compete in. Juniors, beginners, advanced, and the group division. There was also a prize for best in show. Uh, High Plains Minicon, Western Nebraska's only free one-day Comic-Con event here in Scotts Bluff, Nebraska. Uh, we are hosted here at the Monument uh, Uptown Scotts Bluff Mall. <laughs> this year's event uh, ran from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. This, this year. Uh, we had vendors from local sources. We invited vendors from Colorado and Wyoming to participate as well in this event. Um, our local indie comic artist, Ideal Comics, uh, co-hosts this event. Um, I'm with a cosplay group called Midwest Marvels Cosplay. We do the cosplay contest and participation um, awards for, the, for that event. Um, a good event. It was a good turnout again. Um, always like to see it grow, of course. So looking forward to maybe next year and seeing uh, what, what, what pops up. Excellent cosplay. Um, it's, it's always refreshing to see individuals volunteer to come out and present their, their, not only their art, but their passions, their own individual likes and dislikes. Uh, and it's also great to see the other participants and other attendees for this con come out and support them and, and share them on. It's always our number one most popular event at the end, end of the con. Hope everyone decides to come out to 2024's con, con, uh, mini con. We'll announce that at a that date probably here in the next few months. And uh, looking forward to next year being a, a better and brighter event. On September 23rd, the Garing Public Library presented a program to help the public prepare for the two upcoming solar eclipses that will be visible in our area. Park Ranger Jason Gray was the speaker at this program. Um, so we just had our eclipse event. So we had Jason Gray from Black Hills Parks come and talk about the solar eclipse. Um, and he did a presentation and now we're making solar eclipse flags. Well, today we have the great opportunity to share with uh, kids and their parents about the annular solar eclipse that's coming up uh, October 14th. And uh, here in Gearing and Scotts Bluff and the rest of the Panhandle, we'll have about 70% of the sun covered up. And so we're hoping to get people to understand what, why that's important, why it's going to be fun, and to make sure they're viewing it safely. If you're going to be doing, uh, getting solar glasses to watch the eclipse, make sure that they're uh, real and have the ISO uh, number for being sun safe. And uh, you can get those uh, at the library down here at Gearing. And uh, also Agate Fossil Beds will have some uh, available to pick up as well. Attendees also had the chance to make solar eclipse flags after the presentation. Wisconsin-based musicians Austin Skalecki and Sage Leary performed at the Flyover Brewing Company on September 23rd as a part of their Jelly Bowl tour. Tonight, 6 to 9 p.m., we'll be here. we just the brewery. Um, all, our shows, they're all about having fun. Feel good rock and roll, that's what we're that's all right. here to do. We're uh, starting our Jelly Bowl tour. We've been out here on the road since Friday, and so we were out in Omaha, Nebraska last night, and now we're heading over here. Golden tomorrow, but it's our second show day, so we're really excited to be here. Fly over brewing. I'm Sage Leary, Austin Sklecki. We're on Facebook and Instagram, any of their Spotify, all the, all the music streams. Anything so that you can find us on, we should pretty much be there. And yeah, just feel free to reach out and let us know <laughs> if there's any cool places to check out or any, any music you want us to check out. Skalecki and Leary said that they loved writing their own music and the duo played several originals during their concert. Events coming to the area next week. On September 28th, the Garing Public Library will host Chess Club beginning at 6.30 p.m. For more information, call 308-436-7433. The Garing Garden Center will be hosting a Fall Festival Evening Glow from 4 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. on September 28th. 
For more information, call 308-436-5634. September 29th is National Silent Movie Day, and the Midwest Theater is celebrating with a special event. Beginning at 7 p.m., the Midwest Theater will be showing some of Buster Keaton's films, including The Scarecrow, One Week, and The Haunted House. Admission for this event is free. For more information, call 308-632-4311. Join the community for the 12th Annual Monument Marathon on September 30th, beginning at 7.30 a.m. Race proceeds benefit the Western Nebraska Community College Foundation, supporting student scholarships. For those who wish to participate, race registration is open online until noon on September 28th and in person until 8 p.m. at the Expo on the 29th. There is no race day registration. Race distances include a full marathon, a half marathon, a three-person half marathon relay, and a 5K. For more information, visit MonumentMarathon.com. On September 30th, Red's Bar and Grill will be hosting a Harvest Hoedown beginning at 3 p.m. There will be a street dance, penny carnival games, a pie eating competition, a dance competition, and much more. Admission is free and all ages are welcome. For more information, call 308-424-1211. Western Nebraska Community College President Greg Dart will host an open house at all three WNCC campuses to meet members of the community. The Western Community College Area Board of Governors will host a welcome reception on the Scottsbluff campus for Dart following the October 4th board meeting from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m where the community is invited to meet DART as well as members of the board. For more information, call 308-635-3606. Thanks for watching Around the Town News.